Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Wilderness Lodge. It's Friday and you know what that means. It's Foodie Friday. Sorry. So we're gonna get some food. Now today we're eating at Roaring Fork. This is one of four places to eat here. So we have yep. Whispering Canyon Cafe, which is yep. a table service restaurant. We also have, what's the name of it? Storybook. Storybook Dining at Artist Point. Which that's is- That's also table service and character dining. Yeah, that's the Snow White and Seven Dwarfs character dining. We're skipping that for today. There's also Geyser Point Bar and Grill, which is another option. We just didn't decide to go with that either today. The, the food looks a little expensive, at least in our opinion for what you're getting. So we decided to do the quick service, which is Roaring Fork. We're actually gonna head down there now. So let's make our way out. Let's do it. I'm excited. I'm hungry. Me too. It's been a long day. All right, let's go. All right, so we're making our way to go pick up our dinner now. In fact, I think I can let them know. Not yet, almost let them know that we're ready to eat. We did do a quick walk down this path to the boat. It's beautiful out there. And now we're continuing our walk back to the Roaring Fork. It is just so gorgeous at this resort. We have a tour where we take you guys around. We encourage you to check that out so you can see more of the resort, but I absolutely love it here. I love the fact that this place has outdoor seating. Yes, lots of outdoor seating with umbrellas. You can see it right here as well. There's also indoor seating as well, so plenty of options. This outdoor seating area also has fans, which I will say were really nice earlier today when we were eating out here. It keeps things nice and cool, but you're still outdoors, so that's nice. There is seating inside, but it's not a huge seating area, so you might find yourself having to eat outside. But of course, if you move an order like we did, you can also bring your food back to your room, which is probably what we'll do tonight. Seems like a good enough plan, but there are plenty of places to eat out here. It is really nice out here. So while we're sitting here waiting for our food, I thought I'd show you the menu here at Roaring Fork. So this is the mobile order menu. From what I can tell, it's the same menu mobile as it is in-house. You know, sometimes the offering's a little bit different. Um, I, I just, this caught my eye, which I think is funny. The seasonal exclusives are a cereal with milk. <laughs> that might be a little bit of a, a mix up with the app, but here are the options that are available. We did eat some of these earlier. You can check out what we thought in our previous videos, but they do have some delicious options and we did choose some delicious ones tonight as well. I also like that they have a wide variety of different cuisines. They do have some great options for kids too. Prices aren't too bad. These are also, I'm noticing these pop up a lot, these uh, new kids packs. We'll have to try one of those one of these days, see what we think about it. Uncrustables have been the go-to, but I'm seeing those pop up in the menus all over the place now. They have some really cute desserts. Now, of course, we mobile ordered because we found it to be very convenient, but you also have the option of just ordering at the counter. They also have grab and go options available as well. And this is also the lunch and dinner menu. There's a breakfast menu too, which includes a lot of delicious options. We might have to talk about that some other time because we're definitely coming back for breakfast. And don't forget, aside from these options in terms of food, drink, and whatnot, you also have the options that are available over at the Mercantile. So they do have wine and other drinks and grab and go foods and stuff. Just like any other Disney Vacation Club resort, they have a nice selection to choose from because there are rooms with full kitchens in here. Of course. Food's ready, so it's time to go pick it up. You can grab it over here, which is what Russ is gonna do. But let's take a look at the dining over here. So like I said, it's not a very big area, but it is air conditioned and it is inside. And there is the beverage bar over there. All right, we got our food. Now let's do a little bit of an unboxing. Unbagging? Unbagging. Unbagging, okay. Unbagging. So um, we have two separate meals today. I went with a kid's meal. This is a kid's wilderness salad. So we actually have 
cute little it, salad. Right here, it's a small salad. But here's the thing. So this I think was $8-ish. Mm -hmm. It also came with a side of fries. Good amount of fries in there. Mm -hmm. So we've got a side of fries and I also got house made chips. You could choose from a number of different things. I went for this. So this is gonna actually be a pretty good size meal for around $8 and it also came with a drink. So not too shabby if I do say so myself. Now Russ, he got a turkey sandwich, which he had his eye on. Look at that thing. Look at the size <laughs> of this turkey sandwich. Look at the size of the loaf. That's my hand. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's a good sized turkey sandwich. That also came with the choice of a side. He went with French fries. And then we got two desserts. So right here we have the Roaring S'more. And this looked really interesting. This is a blueberry thyme pie. So you'll get a closer look at all of this later, but first let's dig in to our food and see what we think. I know Russ, you're gonna be really excited to take a bite of this. So let's get ourselves situated and then we'll check back in with you. Now I will say my first impression of my salad, it is small, but it is a kid's salad. So I'm not surprised by the size, but it doesn't have the croutons or the walnuts, which it said it was going to. So I'm a little disappointed by that, not gonna lie. That said, I haven't even tasted it or anything yet. So we'll see how that goes. Good amount of chips, good amount of fries. So I can't really complain, but it did say that it was gonna have more ingredients that it doesn't have. So what do you got over here? Look, it's just a nice cross cut, nice turkey sandwich. The thing is massive though. I'm excited. Take a bite, tell us what you think. Fresh bread, phenomenal. Just a nice turkey sandwich. Not bad for it at all. This was only 10 bucks. Not bad at all. Mm -mm. Now it's my turn to try the salad. I did put all the dressing in and kind of shake it up. So. There are some apples in here. There's some chicken. Let's give it a taste. Very good. As long as it's fresh, that's what matters. You know, you just don't want stale. It is very good. Sure. Um, there's also some cheese on here. Nice, sweet dressing. It would have been great if it had the croutons and the walnuts. But again, I can't complain. It's very good. I'm just complaining because not as advertised. It's more of a note than anything, right? Yeah. Especially if you were expecting Apples, it. also very fresh. The chips, I mean, what is there to say? The husky chips are phenomenal, I love them. Delicious. One last thing to try, french fries. delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna eat and we'll check in with you when we're done. All right, we just wrapped up eating our actual dinner. What did you think? Well, he's still eating. I thought mine was really good, although like I said, it was missing stuff. And I'm not sure if it actually was supposed to be missing things. You know, sometimes the mobile order menus can be a little bit messed up, but it did say that it was gonna be the full package, just child-sized, and it wasn't. That said, it was really good, what I did get. Chicken was delicious, apples were delicious, everything was very fresh, so. Yeah. I can't complain. Fries were great, chips were great. What about your food? Oh, it was phenomenal. It was a great turkey sandwich, had a good bread, had a, I, I don't, I wanna, I don't even know what the dressing was that was on it, to be honest with I you. I didn't taste it. I didn't, it really didn't, I really didn't taste it too, too much. But overall, the sandwich was just phenomenal. It was just massive. It was a really big sandwich. And it was really good. Like, you could really tell, I think it was a smoke, it's like a smoked turkey sandwich. So, like, it was really mm -hmm. smoked. Like, it yes. actually had a lot of flavors. It wasn't just regular, normal mm -hmm. deli turkey. Like, it had some uh, smokiness to it. And the french fries, of course, were delicious. Really looking forward to some dessert though. Yes, we have some dessert, so let's take a look. So like I said, we have two desserts here tonight. This is, what was that one called? The Roaring S'more. Yeah, so this has like graham cracker and chocolate. Oh, beautiful, look at that. 
It's kind of, I feel like it's backwards. There you go. There we go. Looks pretty good. Looks very good. All right, and do you want to open up this one? I'm really looking forward to this one, although they both look really good. Yeah, this is a blue, the blueberry uh, thyme pie. This sounded interesting. So while this sounded delicious, yeah, this one sounded interesting. So as you can see, we still have chips. They won't be around for long. Nope. Come on, slide on the a little bit more. It's stuck on there pretty good. Perfect. There you go. All right. That's a beautiful looking dessert. Yeah, it looks really good. It smells really good. Does it? Yeah. We've divided everything up. I will say that this roaring s'more is like so thick and jiggly. Serious. It's like, it's very serious. Anyway, all right, let's give it a shot. Look at it. Look at the cross cut. Ooh. It's absolutely beautiful. Like it is stacked. Wow, that is really, that is really beautiful looking. Okay, let's taste. Do you want to taste the s'more first? Sure. All right, both doing this at the same time so we can tell you about it in real time. Wow, this is definitely marshmallowy. Oh my goodness, it's like a huge marshmallow. This is why, okay, hold on, I'm struggling. It's a good thing you can't see my plate. I'm sorry, you're like crooked and everything. All right, here we go. It's very good. Very good. It's like chocolate mousse, the huge marshmallow. Yep. And then graham cracker, almost cake at the bottom. Now let's try this blueberry pie real quick. I think this is gonna steal the show though. I don't think either of these is gonna last very long. Mm, that's very good. It's so fresh. It's very light and fresh. It tastes like real strawberry, uh, real blueberries. It doesn't taste like a blueberry filling. No, that's real blueberry. That's like, very that's, good. Yeah. All right, let's eat up. Well, we've moved our way onto the couch and we have the most ominous lighting. Delicious. Absolutely phenomenal. They're, they're, they're two completely different desserts though. Mm. I didn't even get a chance to ask you what you thought of the desserts and you already, you knew what you needed to say. And <laughs> this is where it's at. I gotta be honest, I agree. I can't believe you even saved any of it. I really do. Well, honestly, I am so full from my meal. I know that it's just a kid's meal, and kid's meals can seem like, well, they're smaller portions, but especially if you choose your sides right at different restaurants, it depends on where you are. Mm -hmm. But if you choose your sides wisely, you can get a ton of food for the money. And this was no exception. Mm -hmm. Nice serving of greens. Got some chicken in there as well and just a good serving of fries. And I haven't even finished the chips. He's been chomping away. I have to stop because I want to finish them. <laughs> um, you can finish them, it's not a big deal, but <clears throat> I haven't even finished the chips. There's still like half a bag left. Yeah. And I'm full, but of course we have the desserts. They are both really, really good. The, the Raging S'more is, it's not rich. The Roaring S'more. Roaring S'more. <laughs> it's not the Raging S'more. Raging S'more. S'more. But it is a lot. It's not, um, it's not rich, but it's not light, yeah. you know? So it's, it's a so lot good. of, it's a lot of food. Yeah, that was very good. Mm -hmm. And then the, the blueberry, uh, in time, uh, tart, right? Is it, is it considered it was a, a tart pie. or is it a pie? It was a pie. Pie was absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Um, it wasn't too sweet. It was natural. It was, it had real blueberries on top. It definitely had real blueberries on the filling side of I things. I didn't get like a thyme flavor though. Like I didn't get like an herbal flavor. I got a few hits of it. It wasn't. I must have just missed it. It wasn't through, it didn't seem like it was throughout. It was through mm. my last like couple bites. So mm. it might've been hit or miss depending on your portion. Cause we did split it. That's true. And we tried to split it as best we can on the middle, but I think the blueberry, what, I guess it depends on what you're in the mood for. I, for I tonight, know. The blueberry was my favorite. The s'mores was a little much. I was trying to decide if I liked one over the other, mm -hmm. but just like you said, they're they're two very different things. Yep. One was like chocolatey and it was like a s'more. Um, and the other one was just so light. I feel like if there's anything I can say, it's that the s'more was shareable. 
Like you could easily get that and share it. Oh yeah. Amongst two people. Whereas mm -hmm. you wouldn't have to do that. I mean, you easily could share the pie, but you wouldn't have to, you'd easily no. be able to eat it because it was light and airy. Like it didn't feel dense like yeah. the other one did. But as we were sitting there talking over dinner, you mentioned something that I thought was super interesting because of the price point. And I do want to say just as a bit of a backstory, because I don't think that we talked about this with you guys, but we decided to eat at Roaring Fork again today. This is the second time we've eaten at mm -hmm. Roaring Fork because of what options were available and price points. So there are two other table service options here, but they require a reservation or, you know, it's suggested that you make a reservation. One is a character dining, very specialty. And the other one is a little bit more of an atmosphere that we just weren't in the mood for today. Well, not only, not only that, it's also an all you care to enjoy. That's true. And I'm just not, we I'm just weren't in the mood for that. No. So we didn't go with those options and that left us with either the quick service or Geyser Point Bar and Grill. Now I have heard good things about Geyser Point in the past. I don't know if it currently is still that good, mm -hmm. but we were looking at some of the options for mobile order because you can mobile order at Geyser Point as well. Mm -hmm. And the thing that turned us off is that number one, nothing really stood out as that interesting, but the thing that really did it for me, and I think Russ agrees with me on this one, is the price. I, I think it, I can sum it up in just a few words. Stop sleeping on quick service meals. Yes. So when it comes to the pricing, I got a turkey sandwich. Mm -hmm. Geyser Point also has a turkey sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's six more dollars yeah than my turkey sandwich and the only difference well actually there are two key differences mm -hmm. one it doesn't come with a side that we know of it probably the menu does. does not mention a side i'm sure it does and i'd be very surprised if it didn't come with french fries or something i know i know but anyway still mm -hmm. the menu doesn't mention a side and it comes with apple slaw on the sandwich and so with the extra six dollars that i saved not getting the geyser point turkey sandwich which, by the way, I could see at Roaring Fork with the massive bread loaf and stuff like that that was clearly freshly baked. Mm -hmm. I got an amazing dessert. Yeah. I was able to get dessert and, and dinner. And a side, which, I, again, <clears throat> you know. I know but... you're saying that, but there's no way that, that, that doesn't what, though, come with You know what, though? You say that. He says that. <clears throat> but I have had many a times <laughs> where I order something thinking, surely this comes with a side, and it doesn't. The only difference is if, like, you want to be... At a sit down with the atmosphere, mm -hmm. fine. Which is totally fine. It is in a nice location. It does have a kind of cool atmosphere out there because you're like For sure. on the water. Actually, it reminds me of some of the places. This whole place kind of reminds me of being in Minnesota, like up north in Minnesota. Um, but that reminds me of like one of those places somewhere around Duluth. I know it's meant to be somewhere else out west, but... So up in Duluth, up. Minnesota, where you like sit on the lake and have drinks, like that's what Geyser Point feels like, which I think is really cool. And I think it's yep. perfect for that person who really wants to experience that. But just to grab food, I don't know. The price point did shy me away, especially when there are some great options that were available at Roaring Fork. And I think we really enjoyed them tonight. Yeah, and I think to, to really put the nail in the coffin though, is there's actually just regular seating just beyond Geyser Point mm -hmm. on the water. So like I, we could have easily just brought our food down to Absolutely. the water. Absolutely, oh yeah. And eaten down there mm -hmm. and still had the geyser going off next to us and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, and like I said, I'm sure it's good. Just not for us, but yeah, to save today. the amount of money we saved, I'm so glad we did because we were able to get those desserts. Yeah. I still can't get over those desserts. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. But we would love to know what you guys have to say. Have you ever eaten at Roaring Fork or at Geyser Point or any of the other restaurants that we mentioned today? Tell us about it in a comment down below. Of course, hit that thumbs up if you like this video or if you would eat any of the items that we ate tonight, which one would you choose? We want to know all about it. Leave us a comment, tell us. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We do a Foodie Friday every week so we take you somewhere new and 
eat something and tell you about it. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you don't. We also do a lot of other adventures and you don't want to miss those either. Yeah. So hit that subscribe, ring the bell. You know the drill. She's you know saying drill. it all, folks. I am. I am. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. No. Anyway, <laughs> your moment is coming. With all that having been said, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We hope you enjoyed hanging out with us, and we hope to see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye.